Hello, and welcome to Pio Stream Recap. My name is Luke Arella. And my name is Cameo Hamburg. The uh, women's soccer team put on quite a show this season. A shocking opponents across the conference. Coach Tercy brought in a strong recruiting class, and they made a big splash right away. They ended the season with... Seven wins, six losses, and three rec three ties in the conference, and an overall record of seven wins, nine losses, and three ties. They finished the season ranked fourth in conference, their best finish since 1985. <laughs> to go along with that, they also broke school records in least numbers of goals against in a season, most conference wins in a season, most goals scored in a conference game, and most goals scored in an NCAA game. They also tied record for most wins in the season. The Pioneers finished with a season of 23 goals and 220 attempts. Emily Thompson scored six of the goals. Anna Thorndike chipped in five. Taylor Hudson, Sarah Brenninger, and Tracy Nakamura each had four. With such a strong finish, it is no surprise that six Pioneers made the All-Northwest Conference team. Earning first team all conference honors with an outstanding rookie season was Emily Thompson. Thompson finished the season with a team high of six goals from 52 shots and also had two assists. Rounding out her career as a pioneer, Tracy Nakamura made her way to second team all conference. She finished the season with four goals and one assist. Nakamura was named to the honorable mention list last year. Finishing up the list this year are Emmy Ametti, Kylie Carrera, Anna Thorndike, and Taylor Hudson who all made the honorable mention list for the Northwest Conference. Let's go to our friend Cody with some words from the head coach, Jen Tercy. A natural record. We brought in 17 freshmen, six of them started. And I think they made a big impact in our season, which is promising for the future. Well, you know, I, I, we had a first team All American, uh, All Conference, you say, uh, for the first time ever in this part history. It was a freshman, uh, a goal scorer, which is really hard to come by. Uh, so, with her having uh, three other freshmen make first uh, make all the mention this year, it's, they always had a major impact on the team. Where, you know, we used them pretty much 90% of the time, uh, they played almost every minute. So, we geared our offense around it, built our team around it. So, yes, they are a major part. They go down, we may go down. So. Lewis and Clark was predicted to finish tonight in the conference in the preseason poll, but you guys have pulled off a fourth place finish. How does that feel as a coach? You know, I always strive to win a conference. That's what we're here for. But, you know, I go from nine to fourth, that's five, five, space, you know, five spots. I love it. I think actually it was probably the best thing for us not to get any higher this year because it's something for us to improve on for next year and hold the set. Uh, so having seven wins, seeing a school record with that was nice, but uh, I think it gives us some room to even improve on that. It's another, another school record for next year. So um, it feels good as a coach, but promising that we're doing do better next year. What things will we be focusing on moving forward? Uh, we're going to try to rebuild the defense a little bit. We gave up uh, too many goals this year, but you know we want to play two in the back. Uh, two seniors play in the back for us this year, so we have to replace both those seniors. Um, so my goal is that recruiting, trying to find some more speed in the back, um, a little more strength in the back possibly, might help us uh, cut some of those goals against the uh, course finish. How did you get started as a coach? What made you decide to go to uh, Playing. I uh, played professionally, I played college, you know, college and the whole league. I uh, played one year professionally in the league so I decided to stay in the sport. The only way to really stay in the sport was to go be a coaching. And, and so I hopped in right away uh, after college and got a high school varsity job with boys and fell in love with coaching and, and 30 years yet later I'm still coaching. So that's how I got started. Right. That's good.
Welcome back to Pio Stream Recap. This is Cameo here with Emily Thompson from the women's soccer team. Hi Emily, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. So soccer season just ended. How are your feelings about this season? Oh, I'm sad that it's over. It was such a good season and um, it was really fun. I love being on the team and it was just a really good season for me and for the team. What was some of your highlights for this year? Um, well, definitely, I mean, even though it wasn't, like, even though we lost this game to Willamette, one of our furious comeback versus Willamette was really exciting. And then, like, after that, when we got to go to their home and beat them, that was pretty exciting. And um, also beating Whitworth, that was huge. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I'm from Hood River, Oregon, which is about an hour away from here, so I'm not that far away from home. Um, I've been playing soccer since I was probably five, and I also do track. So you started soccer as five. Why did you start playing soccer? Um, I don't remember. It was just a, it was just a, a community ed, like co-ed league for little kids in Hood River, and I think my bro my mom and my dad just kind of like wanted my brother and I to play, so I started playing. So both your parents went to Lewis and Clark and are both in the Hall of Fame. What's that like? It's actually pretty cool. I'm I'm proud of them. <laughs> um, it's people always ask me if there's like expectations to live up to, but I don't really feel the I don't know. I don't really feel like I have anything to live up to. It's kind of just kind of cool that my family is like important in the sports hall of fame. It's nice to have a family that's close and there for you. So, tell me some memorable events that happened over your soccer career. My whole soccer career, or just... Whole soccer career. Okay, I do have my one most memorable moment in my soccer career. So, it was it was during club season of my junior year, and we we're playing our rival our rival team that we usually lose to every year in state cup, and if we played them in the semifinals, we usually play them in the finals, but. Um, we were down one to zero, but um, I, I came back and scored the tying goal, so it was one to one, and um, so and then we came back and won that game and beat them and got to the, go to the finals, and then we won state cup that year. So that was probably my most memorable moment. That's pretty amazing. It was really cool. <laughs> this year, you've actually scored the most goals on the team, so of your goal scoring and stuff, you seem to kind of get a reputation for being graceful across the field. Oh, good. graceful. I don't know about graceful. <laughs> well, what are some examples of when you've not been so quite graceful? Well, a lot of people, like, a lot of girls on the team just say that whenever they look out on the field, I'm usually on the ground a lot of the time. I have a tendency to fall a lot. Even, like, after I kick it, I'll fall on the ground. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, and I... So those are like not my not so graceful moments on the field. <laughs> well, graceful or not, it was very nice talking to you. I appreciate you coming out and hope to see you after next season. Thanks, Good luck Cammie. Track. Thank you. Too bad of a goalie myself if I do, don't say. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow though. And probably have a concussion. That's a definite possibility. <laughs> Lexi Bolton, Tracy Nakamura, Maddie Giggles Harper, Ali Moy Borgen, and Gina Watkins. Thanks, ladies. Tune in next time as we cover both football and cross country who will have concluded their season by this time. This is Cameo Hanford. And I'm Lucarella, signing off. Stay, Stay classy, classy, Lewis and Clark. Clark. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, let's try to start.
Soccer statisticians for you today. <laughs> 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 they are so convincing today. Alright, you guys ready? Super awesome. Super awesome.